Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna make Obito's Mask from the Naruto series. If you enjoy my projects, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell on to get notified once I upload a new video. So this mask is relatively easy to make in comparison to other projects I have done on this channel. I start with making this kind of cage looking uh, mask frame from steel wires and duct tape. Uh, this cage will give you quite a strong constructional strength and you can also see these protrusions for attaching some band or rope later for uh, fastening it onto your head. And later I have used some paper, just simple paper uh, folds to make the basic uh, and full kind of um, structure. Left one hole for the eye and then I have attached some clay on it. This is a one layer, simple one layer. Also I have made the whole uh, round shape as the, uh, as the mask has. Uh, as you can see the inside portion is simple, uh, there is nothing in there, just a eye portion is uh, seen, uh, covered with the clay. And yeah, you can uh, just start with this kind of uh, texture and then uh, draw lines and then cover it with clay. But at this point, if you make the different eye sockets, uh, you can very easily make other types of masks, uh, very famous in the uh, Naruto series. Just make a narrow eye socket and you will get any kind of Ambu masks used in the uh, episodes. And later I uh, draw out some shapes uh, where I was going to add these shapes uh, to get this Kamui effect. And this is the uh, ended up project as you can see it even now really looks quite nice. It looks quite nice to me. The only thing uh, I did here is that I messed up with the scales, the uh, width of those uh, shapes and then I had to combine uh, two of them in order to get this kind of uh, thicker lines uh, and on my version I think they are 10 of them and I, I really like the symmetry and the overall shape of this, this sign. Um, I'm really happy with this result. Right now I'm going to smoothen it up and, and now I paint the whole thing. Um, I was quite lucky to have this kind of red slash orange uh, type of paint, which is uh, pretty much exactly the same color the uh, mask needed to be. So uh, I didn't need to uh, make any kind of um, testing for filling different colors and then testing them how they match the original. I think this matches the original quite nicely and just used the brush to paint it, uh, paint it on the uh, mask. Uh, also I made uh, two uh, layers of the um, paint uh, unfortunately because of this uh, bumpy different kind of clays I had to uh, paint it again one more time and here you can see the end result. Uh, in my opinion it really looks quite nice uh, the color is right as well. Uh, I was uh, first at first I was planning to add some shading, uh, like darker shading on the uh, bottom lines, as you can see. Uh, but in my opinion, the shadows do their work quite nicely, and I think that authors are um, authors idea is that those lines are created by shadows, not a different color. So I went uh, this route and didn't use any other uh, black or like brown color in order to emph emphasize this um, these dips into this uh, like lines. So yeah, this is it. Uh, the only thing what is left is attach some rope and you are good to go to have quite a decent um, mask for the Naruto cosplay. And yeah, you can always go to my Facebook page and see pictures of this and other of my projects. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it. It was quite fun and also I think this is a quite decent budget and um, fast way to make a good cosplay prop. And have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.